there is freedom waiting for you on the breezes of the sky. And you ask, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? This poem by Erin Hansen opens up the Fly Butterfly book. I chose it because it so beautifully captures the longing in our hearts, our vulnerabilities and fears, and the unlimited potential that lies within us if we only dare to fly. My name is Annikin Day. I'm a writer, speaker, entrepreneur, founder and CEO of Corporate Spring and the author of Fly Butterfly. Fly Butterfly is a personal and professional metamorphosis story about Maya Williams, a successful businesswoman who comes to realize that all the things she once thought mattered to her suddenly doesn't anymore and how she feels the need to redefine her outer world when her inner world totally changes. As Maya changes the way she looks at life, work, love and herself, she starts making choices that only a few months earlier she wouldn't have even have dreamt about doing. And as a woman of power, her choices don't only change her own life, but also the lives of the people around her. Fly Butterfly is a book about the importance of finding back to our core, to be brave enough to listen to our hearts, to believe in something bigger than ourselves. And by doing that, discover that life can be so beautiful and magical when we only start looking for it. It's also a story about someone that realizes that when she knows better, she can do better and what that can look like. From cutthroat corporate New York to chill Hawaii and back again, Maya goes both on an external and internal journey and gives an example of what personal as well as corporate transformation can look like. Many people have asked how much my personal story and personality has inspired and influenced Maya's character and the story. I recently heard from another author that most authors' first fiction book is one third about the author herself, one third about something she's heard or learned from others, and one third pure fiction. And I think that's pretty accurate for Fly Butterfly as well. Maya is from New York. I grew up in Norway, but we're both leaders and have worked in the corporate world. However, while she ended up working for crappy bosses in an unhealthy work environment, I've been lucky and worked for some good ones. Maya loved old Hollywood movies, and so do I. She has a special relationship with butterflies, and so have I. And her life changed when she came to the island Kauai on Hawaii, and in so many ways, so did mine. So yes, there are definitely similarities, but Maya is at the same time her very own person with her very own unique personality. Mm -hmm.